A year ago, I was faced with a very difficult question, a question that has led me here to this stage. How do I deal with the loss of something so beautiful and so strong, something so loving and so empathetic and so caring? How do I deal with the loss of my mom? My mom fought a seven-year battle of ovarian cancer, and her suffering finally ended last year when she passed away. Though I was happy she was no longer in pain, my pain was just beginning. Uh, faced with this overwhelming feeling of loss, uh, I knew that I had to do what I do best, and that is create. I had to create something as beautiful and as everlasting as her memory, and I knew just what it was. My dad and I had talked about combining our talents to make something truly unique. My dad is a luthier, or a stringed instrument maker, and I was a cellist with a fiery passion for glass. And so we, as when my mom passed away, our talk CERN tuned into action, and I set out on building the world's first ever glass electric cello. The cello started off as a big hunk of wood. <laughs> um, this is a quilted maple, which has a certain chatoyance or light play that makes it very similar to the glass which is why I chose this wood in particular. I then took that very pretty piece of wood and I sawed it in half. And uh, I sawed it in half to make the routing channels and the interior design, uh, as you can see above you. And then I glued those pieces back together with uh, about five extra clamps than I needed. But uh, my dad always said it's better to use you know, one extra clamp than one too few. Then we went on and we made the neck and then glued the neck to the instrument. And so that pretty design that you saw at the beginning on that hunk of wood is now on the sides of the instrument because I cut it in half. So to bring it back to the front of the instrument, we used very thin slabs to create what's called a veneer. And so that's what you see on the front of the instrument right here. So after working on the front of the instrument, it was time to work on the back of the instrument. And we exposed those electrical channels to fit the circuit board and the 9-volt battery. So after we did all that routing, it's time to work on the fingerboard. Now, the fingerboard is very, very messy. My uh, fiance said that I looked like a chimney sweep in uh, Mary Poppins. <laughs> but uh, it was work that ultimately paid off. One of the most unique things about this cello is the pickup system that it has. It uses magnets, and it also uses a brass conductor up here at the nut to create a, to use the vibrations from the strings itself to create the sound. So it's essentially the purest form of sound that an electric instrument can have. So the cello is pretty much now as we see it today. And for those of you that are more acquainted with the cello, it typically has four strings. This cello has six. So it has a high E string and it has a low E string. So that ranges all the way down from a low note of a bass to the high note of a guitar. So it has a lot more range than your typical cello. So now, it was my turn. I got to finally work on the glass this semester. And I was so excited. I finally got all the shipments that I needed. This is my first cut into the glass. I repeated that same cut about 12 times to make the arm for the cello. And that pretty, um, the pretty rainbow colored glass that you see there, and more visibly seen here, is a glass called dichroic glass. Dichroic glass is the same glass that astronauts use on their face shields. It's a thin, laser-coated layer of titanium on top of the glass. And I use this style because it helped fit and match the aesthetic look of the quilted maple that you see here. But something, this is another process shot, but something was always going wrong. Um, the dichroic glass was initially shipped with black instead of clear glass. Um, the glass that I was using to initially cut was cracking a bunch, and I was trying to get it finished by this semester for the culmination of my undergraduate career. But with that looming deadline, I got caught up in all the stress and all the worries of completing 
such a time-intensive instrument in such a short amount of time. And I realized that I had completely forgotten what the cello was about. The cello is about a son dealing with his grief and working through his grief while working on the cello. The cello is about two mediums coming together, glass and wood, a father and son coming together to make and create music and memories. The glass electric cello is about love. It's about loss. It's about life. But most importantly, it's about this.